Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Annie, and in this video, I wanted to show you my method of Bible journaling. There's nothing great and wonderful to it. It's nothing really special. It's just the way that I do it. And I thought that I would share it with you so that it may help you with ideas on how you may Bible journal or just give you an insight as to how somebody else does it. Of course, first I read the scripture and I'll go in with my pens and highlighters and highlight different verses. I honestly have no color coding system. I just grab a couple of different colors of pens and highlighters and just kind of alternate the colors. But if something is really standing out to me, I will grab my highlighter and highlight it so that I know, okay, this one, this one's the one. You know what I mean? Once I feel satisfied in the session that I'm in with my reading and my underlining and highlighting, then I will flip back through and just kind of do a quick review. After I do that is when I go back in and start the actual journaling part of the Bible journaling. Now that I'm done with reading and studying and doing my highlighting, then I'll go back in and pull the verses that I've highlighted and I will start kind of coming up with what I'm going to draw or what stickers I'm going to use. I definitely make it relate to what I've read. It kind of gives a visual aspect to the study that I'm doing. This page isn't very artsy and that is fine. Everybody does their Bible journaling differently. Sometimes I feel very artsy and it's all art. Other times I just feel like taking notes and writing things down and being more into the actual study aspect of it. It just depends on what I'm feeling at the time, what's going on with this Bible study and just kind of, you know, my communication with God at that point in time. I did get a little bit sticker happy in this Bible journaling session. I really do enjoy my stickers. I make everything in my margins line up with what I'm reading and studying in the scripture. And it really does help when you go back through to reread the scripture, look at the things you've highlighted and go back and look at your notes to give you even more of a perspective of the study and each time you look at it you can grow even more and you can look at your notes and i mean you can even advance on top of that by looking at where you were and what state of mind you were in while you were studying that scripture for the next time that you go back in and look at it and you can see your growth This is just a quick little flip through of my Bible journaling session in Colossians. It's nothing elaborate. It does relate to what I was reading in the scripture and it's just to give you a perspective of how I do it, maybe give you some ideas. I don't like to write over scripture or cover it in any way, but this was one of the pages that's the love letters to God so I did use that opportunity to kind of just go wild with it. And I drew the light bulb powered by the cross because you're being illuminated by God. He is powering you to shine your light. A few more small little things here. And then I had another page where I could take advantage. So I drew the clothesline because I'm going to clothe myself in Christ and become new in him. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas for your Bible journaling or just a look into my world to see how I do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you come back again next time.